Hello everybody, this is Boom Badger, and we are going to be continuing our, our playthrough through Pocket Mirror. Now, I just had to play through all of what we already did because it didn't save correctly. As to why it didn't save correctly, I'm not 100% sure. I think I have to actually close the game manu manually through the menu. Because I just clicked out of the box. So hopefully that'll work. And yeah, so I quickly went through all of that. I didn't really mose around and like look at everything again, so hopefully that doesn't affect anything. It might though, who knows. So let us continue. There's two doors here. Way before you get turned into stone. Rude. So those rude pumpkins. Looking for something? What do you mean? Blinded as sacrifice for those in despair, stolen by the just childish play, right and left taken by the hand, what our request is your demand. Door unlocked. Which one though? I would imagine the first one. Yep. It's like an eye here. I want to see it one more, once more. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson-colored irises accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me and no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories. Forged encounters which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence. Recollections which didn't belong to me. In all honesty, who am I? To whom do those memories belong, I wonder? They're certainly not mine, and yet here they dwell, inside the small room where I sit. Ever remind reminded of these fabricated crimson irises, which we played once again. A thousand times has such a memory keen... keen... been showcased inside my small mind. I don't know why I saw that as keen. And yet, I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence had always been, and always will remain, controlled by those same eyes. Living in the small room, I remember a dream I once had. A tremendously vivid one. A red carpet I had laid before my feet which guided me towards a single opened opening on a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. How long is this? On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection. My reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on each side, of my head, which beautifully frames my cherry red cheeks. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy, frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? Could it be me? Oh, I have hiccups. I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a ge gesture engraved itself into my memory. The soft texture of my skin, the free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand made me realize I could move. 
Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to the feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was... Not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected on the mirror was me and I could breathe and alive. Life glowed inside my body and yet, as I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had peeked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my old room where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived of sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to. Live. Such a sad story that I completely screwed up because I read faster than I can actually speak. Doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant an eyeball. The optic nerve that connects the eye to the brain is too sensitive to be safely reconstructed. I dissected a cow eye once. And it was pretty gross. Did you know eyes are hollow inside? They're completely hollow. I mean, there's like, I think it's called the aqueous humor. It's like a gelatin type thing. It's really watery though. And it's really gross and also really amazing at the same time. In each jar floats half of an unusually big eyeball, staining the water with gelatinous flesh and blood. An eye for an eye. I'm liking these pumpkins. So she's probably in here. Acquired pumpkin charm. Two pumpkin charms. Oh wait, there's a light. The window's so dirty, the light barely gets through. Uh, I'd say otherwise. It looks pretty bright over there. Compared to the rest of the room. Creature. I want to see the light once again. There's something in there. We will clean the window. Can you clean the window? There used to be a mirror in this room, though it shattered long ago. She stopped crying, but I don't know if that's just the sound, like, not having any of it, or what. So I need to get her to see the light. How do I do such a thing though? Oh, I did something. Um. Oh, I need to illuminate all the, eyeball the eyeballs. There's not another glass shard though. I just need one more mirror shard. Uh, I don't see any though. That's the problem. If only there were enough shards. Okay, there's not enough shards. So, maybe I have to go somewhere else. Oh wait, no, my pocket mirror. I'm an idiot. happy? Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. <gasps> Acquired a red eyeball. Oh boy, my favorite. At last, we meet again. I have both my eyes, though. Uh, I need this. saves. I don't want to have to play through this whole game in one go. Blinds is a sacrifice for those in dismay, stolen by the just childish play, right and left, take by hand, request is your demand. Oh, are both the doors unlocked? Just 
drawing is based upon perspective, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Aren't I smart? The smartest pumpkin. I love pumpkins. Fate, 1655. Grasping the dagger buried in her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea. Poor girl. I wouldn't mind having my insides scooped out as long as I can become a yummy pumpkin pie. Same. Did you know pumpkin flowers are edible? No, actually, I didn't. Well, here's the girl. I really like the artwork in this. Sisterly, 1844. The painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. Destiny, 1843. Grasping the diary. Mischievous grin on her lips. It's Ib all over again. Hey, little girl, get back here. Okay. Excuse me, miss. Yes? Could you please show me what you've got there? What should I do? Uh, of course, show her. Alright, just please be careful. I think I've made a mistake. I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. No, please give it back. How far are you willing to go? I'll do anything. Please just give it back. How generous of you. I'd gladly take you up on that offer, then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. Resist and we shall take yours instead. What do I do? I have an eye. Here you go. A sticky eyeball with a red iris. Oh. Rookie Dark Waters. Wait, what woman's left eye? This? Bridal Virgin 1666, a ghostly pale girl sits on a well carved wooden chair, wearing nothing but an airy white veil. Numb 1633, skeleton hands reach out to a lady dancing passionately amongst the flames. It's been painted over. Retribution, 1598. Reunited with a golden room in a golden room. Very small woman. Witnessed the murder of a newborn child by decapitation. Such a horrible painting. Satisfaction, 1800. A woman sits on her throne, wrapping her hands around an expressionless small child's neck. Oh. I got a thing. Acquired pumpkin charm. What do pumpkin charms do? Yeah, it's not showing me what they do. Salvation, 1722, is paying a woman lying in bed surrounded by representations of death and demons. Sounds like a fun time. Punishment, 1538, a girl joins her own two hands as her hair burns wet in crimson flames. Delusion 1760, the painting of an important looking female aristocrat surrounded by various young girls desperately clinging to her. I don't like this planet. I wouldn't mind having my side scooped out, okay. Whose eye am I supposed to take? Oh, is there one on the opposite side of the wall that I just can't see? Yeah, there is. Oh! I don't know what to do. You said already missed? I have. I'm so sorry. Ew. Curse you, Annalise. Oh. Which one gave me the pumpkin charm? This one? Yep. Yeah. 
Hatred, 1844, the painting of a lady wearing an eye patch. She seems to be upset. This is really... So we are not going to give her the pocket wear this time? Uh, no. I'm sorry, but I can't let you have my pocket mirror. I see. That's alright then. I'm sorry I have troubled you. Though I would still love to take a closer look at that marvelous mirror of yours. You're not seeing my mirror. Um... I'm not 100% sure what to do now. Maybe look at the tripping one again? Do I have to give it to her? Have you changed your mind? Um... I'm gonna have to. not take her out this time. I still activate it. Don't poke it out. I better not. Um, the paintings are speaking. Which one's speaking though is the problem. It's one with the multiple girls I think. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. She's gonna rip. She's gonna kill me again. But there's nothing really else to click on. <laughs> Unless there's paintings on the other side of this wall. Pumpkin, do you have anything to say? these pumpkins have a flower next to it. <laughs> Drawing is based upon perspective, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Perspective. <laughs> Can I move this? Can I just block them? Or what? I guess pluck it out. I'm probably gonna die again. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm back. We just have to run really fast. Gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> wow, okay, that's really difficult. You can't run. Oh, wait, yeah, I have to activate it first. That makes sense. Oh, 
Oh, she's not. <sighs> Talk to her first. Huh? So these two are sisters, from what I gather. And uh, she's just blackmailing me to finish off the rest of her other sister because she's already missing an eye. <laughs> and she, the other one, the one that I have to rip the eye out of, already like knows exactly who it was. <laughs> it's strange that she doesn't barter with me at all. It's impossible! There's no run button. Okay, so I figured it out. Shift is what lets you run. We made it out with the eyeball. We good. We're good. We're good. We acquired a blue eyeball now. Great. We still don't have our pocket mirror. Oh, she wrecked the place. We should go save before we go in there. <laughs> to her better eyeball. Consider me your number one fan. Mace chest pumpkin. The painting has been ripped apart. The lady who once sat there is no longer recognizable. I'm sorry. Services, sir, ugh, services. Serves her right. From now on, I'll always be number one. This can't be. Here, you can have your little toy back. It's pretty sick, man. It's pretty sick. What's this one like? It's gotten dark, hasn't it? Now you've done it. I don't see anything wrong with ripping it. It's the lady's eyeballs out. Is there a save point in there? Hopefully so. I don't think there's a save point in there. Oh no. Okay. It is dark. Okay, so we're not gonna venture into here. I'm gonna cut it off in here. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you do. And I will be continuing to make more and get frustrated at a game that I don't understand because I am incompetent. Thanks for watching.